The Best Ranger Competition is a remarkable event that tests the mettle of elite warriors. It is a grueling three-day trial of physical prowess, tactical acumen, and mental fortitude, where participants face challenges mirroring real-world ranger operations. Typically, 50 two-person teams pulled from a pool of ranger-qualified service members from across the U.S. and Allied forces gather in Columbus, Georgia for a chance to be crowned the best ranger. The competition subjects participants to treacherous terrains, marksmanship tests, obstacle courses, and night land navigation, pushing them to the very limits of their resilience and showcasing the unbreakable bond among teammates. It serves as a powerful testament to the steadfast dedication of these rangers, inspiring us with their pursuit of excellence and commitment to duty. From its inception in 1982 to its current status as a pinnacle of military excellence, the Best Ranger competition stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of Lieutenant General David E. Grange, Jr. The competition was influenced by the leadership of Dick Leandri to honor Rangers who fought in previous wars. Mr. Leandri was a close friend of Lieutenant General Grange, a former Ranger instructor and Ranger Department Director in whose honor the competition is named. This event has grown and evolved over the years thanks to the loyal support of the National Ranger Association. The National Ranger Association is a 501c3 nonprofit organization that supports the Best Ranger Competition, Ranger Hall of Fame, and the distinguished members of the Brigade Ceremony. Additionally, their mission is to support and promote the values established in the Ranger Creed, to pay honor to Rangers who have distinguished themselves, and to erect and maintain monuments that support the Ranger mission. Overall, the National Ranger Association plays an integral role in supporting the Best Ranger competition by providing logistical support, fundraising assistance, and volunteer efforts. In addition to their direct support, the National Ranger Association serves as a vital platform for promoting and publicizing the Best Ranger competition through their communication channels on social media, newsletters, and live streams of the events. The 2023 Best Ranger Competition is the first to hold events off base, thanks in part to the efforts of the National Ranger Association. The gear and events used in the competition are enhanced by the charitable donations to the association. Holding Day 2's events at AJ McClung Stadium solidifies the identity of the Best Ranger Competition as a sort of Ranger Olympics. None of this would be possible without the loyal support of the National Ranger Association's donors. Hey, my name's Jay and I'm a passionate uh, best ranger individual who's been a finisher before, who's also coached for the last seven years, and then now our first year assisting with the National Ranger Association, live streaming the event, bringing it to people at home, also bringing it to family members who know of competitors, and then it's continuing to message the Army that these are the finest warriors and leaders that you're going to see throughout, and this competition does exactly that. So I'd say the Best Ranger competition, as a military as a whole, armed forces, regardless of Army, Air Force, Marines, doesn't matter. It's most important because when you have competitions like this, everyone's gonna continue to fight to be better. And it puts on display the levels of endurance, technical, tactical shooting skills that are required for any of our soldiers, leaders that we expect to have in our armed forces for us to win our nation's wars. And this is the epitome of all of that. So as a former competitor, I finished in 2012, 13, and 15. Additionally, I've coached the last seven years, so I've touched this competition since 2012, haven't missed one. I'll tell you, day one was the most difficult competition I've seen in the last 11 years. Day one, they ended up putting 25 miles in their bodies, and that was before they even made it to the final foot march, which was 20.2 miles.
So the National Ranger Association is our 501c3 that is extremely important that helps support and enable competition uh, vendors to this event. Additionally, bring outstanding contractors, outsiders who can support our rangers and show that future leading technology. My name is uh, Blaine Reeves. I'm a Lieutenant Colonel, retired uh, U.S. Army. Spent uh, just over 21 years in the Army in uniform and continuing to serve as a federalized civilian down at United States Southern Command. I've got a little time back in the day. I was actually uh, a Ranger instructor back here uh, from 1991 to 1993 and was lucky enough to have the opportunity to compete in the 1992 Best Ranger Competition. That was my first year of competing. Uh, we got lucky and ended up uh, coming in fifth place. So using that momentum, building on it, uh, came back the next year and uh, competed again, got lucky and ended up uh, getting to hold the pistols on the final day. So ended up winning the 1993 competition 30 years ago today. These competitors have sacrificed a significant amount of time, up to a year in some cases, away from their families. So it is important to the association that the families are able to come and witness their loved ones compete in this revered competition, potentially watching firsthand as they achieve greatness at that finish line and they raise those pistols, crowning themselves the best ranger. I'd like to say congratulations to these guys that just competed, man. Wow, what a what a show. I, I was lucky enough to be able to come in. Thanks to the National Ranger Association, I, I was able to come in and, and film these guys and watch these guys again. And man, it just brings back so many emotions for me personally, you know, having competed before and then just getting to watch it all and see how these guys are suffering and know exactly what they're feeling, know know what they're going through, right? Uh, and just to come back and feel all that again and, and see it and be able to take that and capture it, you know, on, on live stream and get it out to everybody out there that can't be here, all the families and friends and stuff. So real privilege for me to come back and be able to do that.